lovelies it's been a really long time today's video we are going to do a curly perm also known as jerica this is my first experience and so yeah bear with me i'm going to make so many mistakes i'm a beginner and so i hope today's video helps and guide you i'm also going to show all the steps that i use in this video what i have in my hand here is a kitchen papers that i cut into pieces into like a little bit of strips very tiny tiny bits of strips and this kitchen paper is kind of uh, good with water we can soak in water and it will not turn into like pieces or tear so this is perfect for the work i'm going to do so i have my products ready the product i'm going to use today is the carefree curl chemical rearranger i'm going to use the carefree curl curl booster i'm going to use the carefree curl visualizing solution this solution i learned when you put it into the hair it goes very cold it feels very cold i don't know how it feels like i've never used it before so i'm going to experiment all this product today and see how it's going to work and then i'm going to use this lotta body yeah i'm going to use it too and so these are the products i'm going to use today i'm also going to use vaseline to protect the sides of my scalp and i have my hand gloves in here i have about two pairs or so and then i have my I have my combs that I'm going to use for the hair. Well, I don't know. I think anything else that I need, I may come across and then go and bring it. This is what I'm going to use for my curls. I've used it quite a few times to curl my hair. So this is what I'm going to use for today's video. That is it. I'm going to start my hair. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush my hair a little bit more because as you can see, it is still like coarse, natural, and you can see from the tip of it, it's very thick. If I pull it out, it is a bit long, but it shrink inside. So I'm going to try and separate my hair into parts start putting the chemical rearranger into my hair but i'll do it carefully as i learned you can't over process your hair which is going to be a bit difficult to do because i'm doing it all myself so i have to be very careful how i apply the chemical my hair is not a virgin kind of policy because i've extensurized it in my previous videos so as you can see it is a little bit soft but not too soft it's still natural in it and the new growth in my hair is very very thick and i have had if you are applying this chemical rearranger you don't have to apply it to the like the, uh, to the scalp also you have to apply it to the hair all right but not touching your scalp that is going to be a very difficult one for me because i don't know how i'm going to apply a chemical relaxer to my hair without touching my scalp so i'm going to try my best very best to make sure i do it properly and i get the best results so to go ahead i'm just going to put on my hand gloves I also forgot to mention I have these hair clips that I'm going to use to hold the hair when I go along. I bought this off uh, Shane, parting my hair into about four sections, I think. My hair is a little bit thicker from the bottom, so it's quite difficult to sometimes section it. I also forgot to mention I have my towels here. I have towels that I'm going to use to cover myself up in case some of the relaxer or rearranger touches my skin and also that's why I'm wearing a bigger shirt the first section is done I'm going to twist this around and hold it up with the with this let me see if it works yeah I think it has worked I don't think this has to be done very perfectly it's just a way of sectioning the hair to make it smaller sections in order to make the chemical easier to apply I finished putting my hair clippers to hold my hair in sections there is quite a few bits at the back here and also if you watch my ears I put on some uh, kind of tape to protect my ear it's like a plastic kind of like tape the ones that sometimes they use to do the makeup side i use it to protect my ear at this side i don't know i just decided to use it anyway and so now i'm going to apply my petroleum gel onto the sides of my head where the cream might end up maybe touching i'm going to open my chemical rearranger and it smells a bit weird it has two kind of packages or covering on it this is the second one the second one is a plastic kind of but this is going to be very difficult for me trying to apply it away from my scalp so i'm going to do my best and separate this a little bit of the frontal hair away Yeah, I'm going to let those ones rest away from the chemicals and then I'm going to continue putting it into the main hair 
So let's start with this side and I hope I don't go wrong. I realize using the comb is going to be a little bit difficult to apply it, but I'll manage it. Okay, so I think I'm almost done with the first one. The problem is the tail comb, you know, the, the little spaces that is pulling the pieces or hair away from the chemical. So it's a bit difficult to use the tail comb. So I may end up using my fingers to do this. I think using my fingers will be a bit more quicker for me too. So I've applied it enough into the roots and making sure I don't touch the scalp of my hair so much okay so this chemical smells like a rotten egg oh it smells like a very bad egg okay so I'm going to rub this one away I've not put a lot inside just a little amount because I'm going to come back and go in into it and I'm going to use my clip to hold this one down and go to this one too as I said I think using my hand will be better for me and make it quicker I'm trying as much as possible not to apply it to the scalp I'm just doing like the root of the hair but one way or another it's going to touch the scalp anyway so I'm going to be very quick I don't know how strong very strong the chemical is so I have to be very quick with it The next problem is going to be the center hairs. I have to be careful with that because you know I can't actually see what I'm doing in the center, so I have to be very careful when I'm applying that. I'm going to use my hands to help me in separating the hair, which is going to make it easier. So this process as I said instead of using the tail comb to do this part I choose to use my fingers to do this because it's easier for me to use my fingers because I can also see the back of my hair and the central part of my hair properly so using my fingers will guide me in applying the chemical uh, rearranger into the hair before I did I started this process I've read a lot and a lot and a lot about this thing before going into to do it myself <laughs> I've done a lot of research and reading and watching a lot of YouTube videos on doing this and that is why I choose to do my own even though you are supposed to give it to a professional and not supposed to do it yourself at home I decided to do mine so I hope it doesn't go wrong
and when i was looking for the chemical to buy online i was looking for the regular but this one i got is a super strength it stays on the container super strength which means it's very stronger than the regular regular one is not common to get online when i put it into my basket and i went back it disappeared meaning it has been sold away so i had to be quick and then buy this one the problem is i can't see the back of my hair so this one i'm going to apply it just the way i've been applying my normal relaxer to my hair I'm going to take all the clips off and then recomb the whole hair and reapply the relaxer properly into my hair. I mean, all of my hair. What I'm doing right now is I'm working the first section that I started, I'm working it out, I'm stretching it all out. I'm going to do this all onto the sections that I put the chemical relaxer into. I'm making sure I put enough into the tips of my hair because that side has been so much natural for a very long time. So the first part is done, I'm going to work the second part. When I read online, the whole process does take about three hours or so, three or four hours, depending on how long you leave the product in. and it's all okay i think i'm going to leave it for a little while everything is intact and i'm going to sit a little bit more and wash it off this is all the hair that has come out of the the whole thing that i did i read that this relaxer is quite good for your hair it doesn't cause like a lot of breakages especially when you have a weaker hair it's good to use this product so yeah i hope it works well for me it's curling that we are going to go to today it has about three different stages and I'll be back to show you how it looks. Even though I can't see the whole of the back of the hair, I still think it's okay. So I'm back looking weird. I've washed my hair. So I washed the chemical arranger out of my hair. I did not use any shampoo or conditioner, nothing. I made sure the whole hair is properly washed and all the chemicals are gone before I continue with my second stage. So I'm going to take the towel off. I don't know how it looks. But if you see the hair, you can see that the hair is still very thick. It has a lot of volume in it and it's still really nice. It is not like a relaxed hair. It has not gone fully relaxed. I think my hair is so, 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 so thick. The next stage is going to be putting in my curl booster. I'm going to mix some of the Luta body with a curl booster and then put into the hair before I put in my hair curler. So this is what I'm going to use. This is the curl booster. I'm not a professional and I don't know how much to use so I'm just using a little bit not so much when I read online or oh, the person who did this procedure that I am doing she said that when you put the chemical arranger into your hair it doesn't fully relax your hair as you can see it's not fully relaxed there is still like some kind of curly natural in my hair this is how it looks like it's, it's not fully relaxed and so sometimes you have to leave it in so long before like it can really work well because this chemical is not fully a relaxer it just softens the hair the curls for you to go in with your curly perm so yeah I'm done with opening this one I'm going to pour some of the Lota body into the curl booster and I hope my procedure also comes out nicely as hair so this is how it looks the whole amount that I fetched this is how it looks I'm going to mix it all together 
i don't have a mixing bowl for this this container is from one of my protein shakes that i bought and just using this one for it i think it's okay it has done the job just to keep it in and the mix that's all so i think that is it i'm going to start applying this into the hair as i apply it into the hair i'm going to start putting my hair curlers into it to set the hair yeah so there we go i'm going to section this hair into about a few parts you can still see a lot of natural hair in my hair oh god i thought it is all going to go like a relaxed hair but it's not it's like just a very soft hair i'm doing my own head so it's not that easy doing it that perfect the way she did but i'm going to try my best and see what i can do and i hope it works so when i read online you can do this procedure like the chemical procedure about every three months i think i should have left the chemical in my hair more i did it about about 30 minutes or so which i thought it was quite a lot a long time but it's still not a longer time because i wanted the whole hair to be super super soft more like a relaxed hair but it's not relaxed it's you can still see so much curls in the hair use my spoon to scoop some of the product into my hair because she used some kind of brush to do this but i don't have a brush that hair brush that you use to put the product into it so i'm going to use my spoon to do this okay so i think my product is in the hair enough for me in fact i'm going to use my hand it feels better oh god this is so soft the hair is so soft okay this is what i want all soaked in the hair i think i might have to bring the rest of it to the back of the hair it's too much to start from the front And inside her video there is another stage in her video that was hiding away people were asking what she did so the stage that was hiding away in her video was when she put this strip into your hair before she put the hair curlers in so i put the strip on there and she fold it up like this i think yeah and then she put the hair curler on Yeah, that's what she did according to her when you do it like this the curls are going to start from the bottom of the hair so this is exactly what she did i think that is it yeah i did the first one i'm going to go on to the next one the problem is my hair is still so much natural and it's not that much uh, relaxed you can see the curls in the hair the curls are forming I think because of the curl booster Okay, so I think I'm patting my hair too big so I have to pat it very smaller to get good curls I'm doing it too thick
I'm done fixing my hair killers what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour a little bit more of the kale bolster this is the kale bolster I pour it here rather than into this little container I pour it here with the lotter body and so I'm going to put quite a little bit into the section onto the hairs that I've put into the curler And then when I finish this, I'm going to wrap this hair up with a clean film and then put it into a towel and sit for about 30 minutes. When it finishes, I will wash it off. I'll not take the hair careless off. I'll leave it on and wash it. As I said it to you earlier on, this is me experimenting the Kelly Pem on my own head. I've never done this before. I've seen it a lot of people doing it and in videos and it looks so beautiful. So I decided to do my own and see how it will look like because it's quite expensive to get this done professionally. A lot, lot expensive to get this done. So if it works well, then girl have tried and she has done well. So it's always sometimes good to give a, a try to things, you know, even if you can't do it, just once in a while try something to see if it works or not so i'm going to rub this up with a clean film let me show you around how the hair look i did this i put the careless into my hair using like a double mirror from the back and front because inside this the mirror i'm using is very little one in front of the camera and i can't use it to do my back so i have to go and use my bigger mirror and then stand in front and then back and i'll be able to see the back of my head before i was able to do it if i should have put that into this video it will have been forever to finish it up so yeah i cut that one off and then i just show you how it looks at the back this is how it looks at the side if you can see it properly So when I read the purpose of putting the clean film to wrap the hair booster inside the hair is that it makes the hair booster hot I think and then it activates the curls or also or it makes the curls kind of become like S shaped like so this is my experiment I still don't know if it is going to work or not I'm just going through all these processes this has taken me almost about two or three hours already so I hope it is really worth it with all this that I'm doing so next I'm going to use my towel to wrap my head and I'm going to sit about 30 minutes when I finish I'll wash this off and I'll be back I'll wash this off camera before I get back to see it and I'll put the last product into the hair also wrap it up and show you the final process or the result of the whole hair so I'm going to wrap this up with my towel easy for me I have the head kind of wrapped towel so I'm going to use that one which is easier so that is it I'm going to wait for 30 minutes and I look so cute like a really big mom Okay, so it's been over 10 minutes and with what I read after 10 minutes you can take the towel off and check the hair and see if the pattern if the S patterns are forming so I'm going to try that now if they are not forming I'm going to re-wrap the whole hair again and leave it for a while I'm going to try this first one I can see only a little bit of curl in this I also think I've part my hair too big and also the hair curlers I've used are quite a little bit bigger than the ones they used in the video I saw so I hope it really 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 does work Back, but it's still not done yet from other videos that I watch you have to use heat you have to apply some kind of heat to the hair when you wrap the hair up with a towel for you to see the curls to form more and you have to always check it about 20 minutes or more to see if the curls are forming or not so yeah I decided to use my blow dryer that is my hand dryer and then just spray some bit of heat into it for a while and then check it and see how it is
so now i think it's done i'm going to wash this curl booster off my hair right now i'm not going to take the curlers off i'm just going to wash it and i'll be back and put in my neutralizer and i will sit for 10 minutes and wash it off and that's it i have returned i've washed my hair and the curlers are still in it i wash it about two three times with uh, lukewarm water so i'm just trying to extract the excess water that is left in the hair out and i think it's okay I'm going to put this towel around my neck because now I'm going to apply the neutralizer and I'm going to put it into this spray bottle I decided to use the spray bottle for the neutralizer because when I use this kind of mouth it is not going to apply the thing for me properly because I can't see the back of it but when I use the spray bottle it's able to at least spray some of the neutralizer into the hair and I have to test first because they said this product is very cold the neutralizer it's really cold I don't know why but it's very cold so I'm going to start from the front and I think the spray bottle is doing a really good job and when I read the purpose of the neutralizer is to lock in the curls that has been formed in the hair I don't know which curls have been formed yet so I hope it does work and I'm going to wrap this around I'm going to wrap my clean fin around again for about 10 minutes wait and then wash it off and I think that is the end of the, the whole process that I started the next stage is I'll be taking the curlers off So there we go are you ready going to take the colors off and see how our style looks if we have gotten our curly perms done or if our jerry curl is in place let's see how it looks that's the first one look a little bit curly not too curly let's see what the rest has done looks like they are forming girl i did it okay when i read within 48 hours you don't have to apply any heat because when you apply any heat you will not get your curls back the curls can like messed up so my hair is still very natural i have like still very natural hair in my hair that is the problem because i think the chemical processing that i did i did not do it for so long as i'm supposed to do so the hair is still so much uh, natural if you can see properly it's so very natural and my hair is so so long this is my two years of hair growth girl it has so much uh weight kind of like uh, so much weight in my hair girl Ooh, you know it's getting a bit dark so you can actually see properly how the thing looks or how the hair looks so and these curls are permanent girl they are going to stay in as long as you want it to stay if you don't straighten it with hair straightness and stuff it's going to stay as long as you want i did it i made my own curly pen my own jerry these are some beautiful curls coming out there i'm going to take the rest off and i'm going to show you how it looks like okay so it's getting dark and i'm trying to show the results but it's not really showing properly because it's still dark so i'm going to leave it on now i'm going to leave this here if you can see properly i'm going to try and bring it a little bit more you can see how my hair has curled up and it is bouncing all the way it's looked like a bit of a wig that i have on but no it's my own hair this is my first experiment trying to curly perm my own hair this is my first experience and so the next time i'm going to try it i'm sure i'm going to do it better and properly the chemical that i put into my hair i did not leave it for long so my hair is still very natural and it's very very weighty like it's very heavy so the next time i will do i'll make sure i put in the chemicals to last longer to make the hair a bit more straight before i put in the rest of the product and it will be more nicer than this one so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm going to keep this on my voice kind of disappeared so i'm going to cover it up and sleep and so stay with me and i'll see you and thanks for watching bye